All right. Uh, okay, so this is a weird one, guys. I <laughs> I know, I know this is a weird one. Uh, this is really speculative, and I don't know if this stream is gonna be. I I don't even know if we're. I don't even know if they're gonna update it while we're streaming. So please, before we even go, I mean, there's a couple. We do have a fair amount to talk about. We can probably find a way to talk about all this crap for maybe even an hour straight if they don't update it. Uh, within the next soon that we you know we wanted them to update it soon obviously but uh this is going to be a weird one and there's no guarantee that they're even going to update anything at all really i mean they're yeah, they usually update it every day and i'm hearing that they update it um within six you know you typically seven to ten o'clock eastern time which would be six to to nine uh and right now it's six thirty six central time so if they're gonna do, if Ark is investing now, now I, I already now first thing I want to go over, but before okay, before we go into the likelihood if this is actually happening and if you just got clickbaited, right? <laughs> if we before we go into that, I just want to say that this is low likelihood. There's a high likelihood of there being no updates on the stream today, and I'm getting too tired, and there's no chats, and everyone's bored, and we just end the stream without even them updating. That's a high chance, but nonetheless, we have some good stuff to talk about today. So, <laughs> also, um. All right, so yeah, for, let's do the first thing. First thing we want to talk about is is uh, clickbait, actually, because I know a lot of people are wondering, like, dude, really? <laughs> it's like, dude, come on, it's not like it's not actually happening, is it? So far, it hasn't. The whole case of Ark investing right now is basically basically all it is is that hey, Ark listed them in their 2021 Big Ideas report, and we're gonna get into that uh, Ark's actual interest into the stock. But basically, there was three and a half million shares. Uh, added to BioNano um, at the close today. And basically, the argument is that, hey, maybe they're finally getting their act together. Maybe they're finally getting the head out of the arse and finally finally picking up some shares. Um, now, is that going to happen? They've been selling Pat Bio lately, but there's really not much, there's really not much besides that. Um, also, is the chat working? Did the chat just die? I'm a little, I'm a little worried right now. Uh, also, by the way, it is a lightning storm at, uh, red literally right now in my area. So Wi-Fi could go out at any point, but that's, that's typical when you get, when you click my streams, there's horrible love Wi-Fi always. All right. So, um, so yeah, likelihood, right? So basically the whole, what's up, Boomstick? Thank you for, thank you for chat. Thank you for easing my nerves a little bit. So the likelihood of this actually happening, right? Okay. I'm going to repeat this. <laughs> I actually want to repeat this. Okay. If you're going to stay and stick with the stream today, I just want everyone to know. This is a weird one. This is probably likely to be boring today. Literally, we are going to be refreshing and just refreshing and just coming back every five minutes or so and seeing if ARC is going to is gonna update the ARC G. Hopefully, they do it sooner rather than later. I've heard, and someone please confirm this for me, would they usually typically do it? Um, they usually typically update the, the, the trades for the day between 7 to 10 and right now it's six, which seven to ten. That's the easier time to convert that to central. We are at six, so so basically we're in the window right now. Um, so this would be the time. Hopefully they hopefully they're going to update it, and hopefully I'm honestly not expecting them. If I had to if I had to bet if they're invest if they invested in Bionio today, I would bet no. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think they did uh, for a few reasons, but I think there is certainly a chance, and I think that chance is is good enough and and important enough for us to actually stream here. And, uh, and actually, because, I mean, just for the chance, just for the chance of ARK investing today, I mean, how sick would it be if in five minutes we refresh this, or in an hour even, if we're still going on for an hour, which I doubt, honestly, because my voice is already hurting because we've been streaming for hours the last two days, last week even, right? But if they actually invested, just for the mere chance and possibility, that's why we're streaming today, boys. That's why we're streaming today. Did you get signed up for the emails? No, I did not. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I did not. I'm not really worried about tracking what Ark is doing at all. Uh, are you from Seattle? No, I'm from Missouri, my uh, my friend, Springfield, Missouri. But you guys, bet, I hope you guys have a lot of good questions today because we are literally all we are doing today is refreshing this a thousand times Ark G's transactions for the day because we think. And also, there is some speculation. We're going to get into the Discord. There is a lot of speculation on actually the the other BNGO subreddit. Uh, right here, we're gonna get into this. There's a lot of speculation as to why, and a lot of reasoning as to why they may actually have already invested. They might have invested today. Um, so we're gonna be we're we're gonna, we're gonna be going all, over all of that. But I also right now I we're gonna do that. But right right now likelihood, right? Why would Ark invest, right? Well, I would say uh, I would say this is the biggest reason right here. 
This is the biggest reason, and this is the case. You know, I'm going to do both of these. Big ideas for poor in case for ARK investing and likelihood. Those are kind of in the same thing, right? Same vein. If we go down here to the page, I don't know, page page 60 of the 93-page document due diligence that we've done, right? Big ideas report. I think, let me just control F, B, and G, O. All right, so optical mapping. So according to ARK, right, this is not new news. Everyone knows this. Everyone and their dog knows this, right? ARK is interested in BioNano. Otherwise, they would not have listed them. I mean, interested is a loose term, right? At least they think, right? I mean, this is implies that ARK thinks BioNano has a, a uh, position in and a role in the genomic toolkit to expand a, and make a fuller, richer, and more accurate view into biology, right? So that's that's their words, not me, right? So optical mapping, BioNano, and NABSES, right? And NABSES is nowhere close to what we do according to Eric himself. They're literally like decades away or at least years away from doing anything close to what we do now. And of course, we're going to be continuing in it, continually innovating. And it's not like we're just staying here while they are just climbing us. No, we are consistently going up. We've got nanonozzle, we've got Savar 2.0, We've got LOQ uh, detection. We've got single nucleotide variant detection. We've got everything. Okay, we're going to the moon. Okay, bye now. Life saving. Let's go. All right, but seriously, this is kind of the case, right? They they did list them. If they didn't list them here, why would they? they if they didn't list them here, then then you could take the case of going. Oh, okay, they don't. They don't even. They think there's no role for BioNano. No, there is a role, but unfortunately for Arc, they have a degenerate for an analyst. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry for calling him a degenerate. I'm sorry, but. Simon Barnett, our friend Simon Barnett. For some reason, Simon here, let's just go to the BioNano website. For some reason, this man has decided that optical genome mapping is just, eh, you know, who cares? Who cares about optical genome mapping? It's not like it's not like there's hundreds of doctors and hundreds of publications that that literally verify the markets and penetration that is going to happen in karyotyping CMA and fish and Pat Bios Hi Fi, I guess, if anyone use still you still uses that for five hundred grace five hundred base pair and greater detection, uh, SV detection. So the, here you go. You got forty pages of of publications here from all people that are more credential than you and I that understand genetics better than I. So the this is kind of why just the start of the reasoning as to why Simon Barnett just doesn't understand what he's talking about and i'll tell you what do y'all want to see a video of me actually debunking what the hell simon barnett had, was tweeting earlier uh, i can definitely do that but while i am going on a nice tangent here let's go ahead and refresh this <laughs> we're going to be doing a lot of refreshing today please if you plan on sticking this stream out congratulations for being a legend but also know this is probably going to be one of the most boring if not the most boring stream ever if arc doesn't do anything which i'm not expecting them to there's a low chance of them investing tonight but it's worth the chance what is napses they are an optical mapping uh company they they try they're basically bio nano but they're basically like a uh they're basically like a baby bio nano that is like deformed and they can't do anything and they're not competent essentially they're, they're not a threat to us they're not a threat to us whatsoever according to eric all right. I'm just wondering if maybe they send out the emails before Kathy's ARC updates. Hmm. Uh, I don't think so. Should we sign up for them? I don't know how to sign up for them. Should we? Um, daily trade email. Should we sign up for them right now? Okay, let's do it. Let's subscribe right now. I'm going to unsubscribe after this crap. Too long, this, what? Too long didn't read? Wait, that was a too long didn't read on ARC? Wait, what? Is this real? Too long didn't read? What? Okay, yeah, all right, we'll go ahead and, and pull and have my email up here. All right, yeah. Just in case, we need to start an Illumina boycott. Yes, we do. Well, actually, no, we need to start a Pat Bio. Pat Bio. No, we need to start a Pat Bio boycott. That's the truth. Screw it. Illumina is fine. Uh, there might be a partnership with Illumina coming up, but... um. But there is no, uh, but Illumina is cool, but Pac Bio has no place in genomics. Uh, they have no, they, or at least they have a very, they have a smaller place than what ARC uh, is implying they do right now, right? So at least that's what I think. And that's what the CEO thinks. All right. Um, let me see here. I feel like they, I feel they downplay the stock so the stock doesn't rock it before they can buy in. Then, then, then they come back later and say it was just time to buy in. Simon is invested in Pat Bio, so no R for Bio Nano. Uh, in Pat Bio, yeah, that's kind of what we just said. Uh, yeah, 
Well, I mean, that's still, it's not necessarily true that, oh, you know, one guy is invested in a rival of BioNano. That means the company that he works for isn't going to invest in it. No, absolutely not. That's the fallacy composition. Uh, Kathy could easily trump him or the other genomic analyst that I believe they hired pretty recently could trump him. Is it likely? No, it's not. Have you been clickbaited today? Uh, <laughs> a little bit, but we are going to be refreshing this live and my email live to see whenever they're actually going to put today's trades out today. I mean, it could be literally be, it could, it could technically be two, three hours based on what I'm hearing for you guys. Um, no, it's not true. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry if people are joining, they're like thinking I'm saying ARK invested. I'm sorry, boys. Well, we do have three and three and a half million shares added by institutions i think it's not technically necessarily these are not necessarily institutions but look at these freaking buy orders man literally if you count these up it's three and a half million these are all right at the close too anyways yeah this is kind of part of the speculation as to why we think arc may invested may have invested today and if they did invest today my RS is already getting sore that's not a good sign it's too it's too late it's too late man it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting stream this is, you guys are in for an interesting one and yeah. Uh, anyways, May twenty seventh. That's uh, we're, we're waiting for them to update this for today. And uh, yeah, no, they technically have not um have not invested yet. <laughs> I just clicked on with the chubby, and now I'm deflated. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm seriously sorry if you guys got clickbaited. I didn't. I mean, I tried to like have. What did it say exactly here? What did I title exactly? Uh, did Arkshin just invest? Okay, it's a little misleading, but come on, that's a question mark. It's a question mark in the thumbnail too. Uh, look at the description. Be a Joe Star. Time to YOLO and boys, girls. You guys don't know how how fun of a time, how much fun I have with making my own titles, just because I try to make them as clickbaity as possible without actually being clickbait. Uh, yeah. But anyways, all right. Yeah. So there is a chance for chance for Ark to invest today. I don't think it's I don't think it's high. I'm gonna be honest with you. I really don't think it's a high chance. Um, we don't need our, okay. Don't mistake me for, don't mistake me for thinking we need our to invest to, for us to moon. No, you guys know where we're going long-term. We're going to damn moon and Mars and we're staying there for a long time. We, regardless of what the hell Simon Barnett, his monkey and his monkey self and his team decided to do. Okay. I'm sorry for, I'm sorry for being mean to Simon Barnett, but he's asked for it at this point. When you tell me that a Sapphire has no place in your portfolio, when it's literally going to make fish CMA and karyotyping completely out, just completely replace them and make they already it already has made them obsolete it already has it's literally just a market that's waiting for the taking and you and you think there's other options such as such as freaking pack bio that you should invest in instead it it's not it, <laughs> it's not and also guys by the way simon barnett he is not actually he does not come from a genomic background he has a finance degree to my knowledge he's just a genomic expert proclaimed by arc Okay, he focuses on genomic stocks. He doesn't have a background in the science. Okay, you know, so come on, Brandon. Sneaky question mark. Yeah, I know. I know. And, <laughs> I know. Well, technically it's not, but like I see I see what you guys are saying. I mean, this is what I would consider. Okay. I'm since the only reason why I'm going on about this is because we got nothing else to talk about today. But if I would have said ARC just invested in BioNano. That would have been 100% clickbait, but I framed it as a question, you see? So it's not totally clickbait, my friends. It's not totally clickbait. All right, but anyways, that, uh, uh, jokes aside, right? Um, there's a chance for it. Let's refresh this again. <laughs> All right. The updated fund is on ARC website. No BNCO, uh, unfortunately. What are you talking about? Send me the link. Uh, this is, I already have it right here. They haven't updated the, the May 27th trades. What are you talking about, uh, Fran Francesco? Fran Francesco? Francesco? I don't know. I'm going to take all my AMC tennies and roll them into BioNano, brother. Hell, hell yes, man. Hell yes. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, hey, AMC has gone up five. It's 5x in about three months. So if you want to take some profits from AMC and, and throw it into a company that has also proven has gotten has been suppressed artificially, factually and objectively and patently and overtly by the manipulators, BioNano is the one to do it. And not only that, not only do you get to fight against the manipulation with BioNano stop, but you get to do your part in making healthcare better and making everyone's life expectancy and life quality more healthy and better right uh also it's fundamentally undervalued short-term mid-term and long-term undervalued we just had insiders buy in we had three and a half million insider shares added today at the market close if we can zoom if we can go all the way down here right there if you add all these up right at the close literally oh man, it's so beautiful it's so beautiful three and a half million shares man three and a half million Brandon, we should have some real talk while we wait. Sure, man. Uh, all right. What, what was? Uh, all right. Um, all right. What are the questions do we have here? 
Uh, might be on Ark's actual website. I think Kathy's Ark is third party. Okay, let me go there. Uh, Ark. I don't ever go here. Um, Ark website. Somebody send me the link. <laughs> Somebody send the link, man. Is this it? Oh man, Ark Invest. Okay, I think this is it. I think this is it right here. Um, subscribe. Okay, blah blah yada yada. Subscribe. Is this? Come on, I just want to get your freaking trades. Somebody send me the link to their trades today. <laughs> all right yeah i think kathy's arc is a third party that's true but they do update it every day though they do update it every day so i do think these guys may be quick they may just have an algorithm to do it i watched the patriot for the first time and oh my goodness dude the patriot is great but it's actually not that good it's actually not that good to be honest with you yeah that's what we should do we should just talk about movies while we're waiting for them to update this or if someone send me, sends me the link for the actual website that you all are telling me to look through right now um what the heck is this oh my gosh look what i clicked on wow should we play? Should it, should this become a gaming channel just like that? Oh man! All right. Um, let me refresh this again. All right. Yeah. What do you think, Hexar Mark? What did you think of the Patriot? You probably really enjoyed it. Gibson carried. Yeah. Well, I I really like the other actor. You know that the 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 um the actor that uh, that is like the main 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 uh, antagonist, the guy that's on the horse, the sword, that dude. I mean, it was a bad script. It was a bad script. <clears throat> Braveheart was was Gibson's best movie, I feel. Yeah. Yep. And not because of the acting. All right. Uh, it might be on Ark's actual website, right? Um, the updated fun. Okay. <laughs> Sneaky question mark. It's too funny. Did Ark buy in? Oh, I feel bad for clickbaity people. No, they. Ha I mean, I didn't. I, I kind of clickbait. Whatever. I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave the clickbait side. You decide whether it's clickbait or not. I framed that as a question. I don't think I did. Anyways, yeah. No, they have not bought in yet. That, that's why. Uh, that's why we're here, though. That's why we're, we're streaming this for the possibility of them actually, uh, actually investing. So, and also talking a little bit about the speculation for Ark actually investing. Right. If we look right here. Uh, okay, maybe I'm just thinking it's a coincidence. Kathy sold number 15 on this link on this list yesterday, and today BNGO has a big buy very similar to that month number, right? So there is there is some reasoning as to why dollar amount matches, share count matches, sold today, bought today matches. I don't know. Yeah, it's imagination. It's speculative. But just for the mere possibility of this happening, it sh I mean, it's wor I think it's worth streaming. You know, I don't know. Plus, there's a thousand other things we can talk about as well. We can talk about movies, boys. <laughs> can we get the boys on Discord live voice chat? And talk to the community. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we can do that. Um, yeah. Like, you don't mean on stream. I, I assume you don't mean on stream. But, yeah, I can, Yeah, you can use the general chat, the voice chat on there. All right. I love The Departed. Uh, is that... I don't know that one. Did Ark buy in? Yeah, no, I don't think so. Talkington, I think. He's in a ton of them. Who was the big purchase at 1600 Uh, it, I, I think it was Institutions, but it could be Ark. It, it could be Ark. Uh, obviously it's, what is it? Okay. It's three and God, stop, stop going down. <laughs> I need to, I need to just stay right here. Uh, yeah. So it, it's a total of three and a half million shares added at 16 at, uh, 16. Oh, 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 the departed is a masterpiece. Let me, let me look that up in a second. Um, I haven't seen it. Is that a good movie? I guess, I'm guessing that's a movie. Anyways, when you say the departed, I think trivium that I'm sure no one knows tri trivium, the heavy metal band, but, uh, but yeah, that's that's kind of the speculation here. The Departed was amazing. I'm guessing it's something super old and corny if I haven't heard of it. The, the, maybe I have heard of it. The Departed. 2006. Okay, it's got it's got what's his name? Uh okay, DiCaprio. Okay, got very good reviews. What is it? The war between the police and the mob. Okay, yeah, I can see why I never heard of this. Yeah, I don't do these kind of movies, but it but the the reviews look good though, so I may have to check it out and it's on Netflix. Okay. I might have to watch because there's no good fantasy movies now for me to watch, so I'm just down to crap. But yeah, all right. Okay. Uh, so yeah, let's refresh this again. Did I just... Okay, here we go. Let's refresh it again. <laughs> there's going to be nothing. There's going to be nothing today, isn't it? They're not even going to refresh it, are they? Somebody send me the link for the... Um, for uh for for the actual arc website if you think we're gonna get that soon and let me refresh the email because I just subscribed to their newsletter I guess and some people said it would be faster there if they actually did man wouldn't it be so crazy you know what if arc was to invest today you know what would happen right after we give up and stop streaming which is gonna happen because I'm not gonna be able to last more than two hours here guarantee maybe not even more than one hour or maybe not even more than 30 minutes I don't know we'll see what happens we'll see how the stream does but 
what's going to happen is right after we end the stream, you're going to update this and it's going to be like, oh my gosh, ARK is in, 5 million shares, it went through the moon. It's like, oh, that's going to happen for sure. I already know that's going to happen. Unforgiven is an amazing movie too. I like that one. Shutter Island, I did watch that one. Uh, Shutter Island, it's all, it's, it's all right. It's all right. It just makes you feel like you're a madman while you're watching it, which makes sense because I am not. I, well, I am a madman, so it makes sense for me. Yeah, I don't know. Shutter Island, it's just, it's all right. I don't know. It's it's okay. The, the start of it is really interesting. All right, whatever. Anyways, yeah, let's refresh this again. <laughs> what do you guys want me to know? Want to know? We can go over, uh, oh, yeah, we need to go over the clothes for growth stocks. Yeah, this is something that's actually kind of concerning, which we do need to go over. Um, so if we, if you look at the spark line here, pretty much every high growth stock, or at least most of them, everything is running right before the close. Um, and if we just, let's just take, uh, let's just take nano dimension for an example. If we go down here, let's see if they have a similar, uh, thing here. Okay. We got to go way, way down. Oh man, this is going to take forever. My computer can't handle it. If we look right here for nano dimension, it's the same exact thing. Actually. I mean, it's actually, I think it's actually more shares for nano dimension that, that were added. Uh, maybe I don't, you know what? I don't know about that. Maybe it's, it, uh, okay. Yeah. It looks like there was more. Yeah. So it's really it, pretty much all growth stocks. A lot of them got a lot of uh, uh, pumpage right at the close, which actually, this actually makes me think that the insider news, the 25K shares that insiders just got has not been priced in yet. So uh, that PDF link says updated 527. I can't see, it's too late. Uh, this PDF link, what are you talking about? This one doesn't. Uh... God, I can't. I need to turn my brightness down, but I don't know if it affects the screen share with y'all. Does this affect you guys? If I turn my brightness down, does this affect how you guys see it? I assume it. I don't even know if it does. Anyways, yeah, let me turn that down a little bit. All right. Yeah, it doesn't say. It doesn't say what day this is updated. That I'm seeing. Uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, new mantra. Yeah, market volume was closed. Yes, Ark will have to invest. Kathy would have smart. Appoints industry leading Dr. Albi uh, Chabi, the one to get FDA approval. Uh, Albi, she the chief medical officer. Our Bionero's chief medical officer. She worked with um, she worked with another rival company or another in, in Genomics before. Uh, but anyways, that's kind of irrelevant. Uh, is that that sounds like news? I don't think we. Ha I don't think Bionero is releasing news at this time of night. Uh, yeah, no, there is no news. Let me look at the Twitter. Yeah, there's nothing going on. I don't. What do you mean get FDA approval? Bionero doesn't have FDA approval for the Sapphire. What do you mean? All right, Dane, we back to six twenty two. Yes, we are. Yes, sir. Yes, we are. Bionero is back to six twenty two. Yes, sir. Hell yes. Hell yes. And this is actually. And you know what, guys? It's actually more bullish in my mind that we that every stock has had a weird close because insider transactions are not priced in. And if you watch the video that I released right before this, most of you probably haven't. But it basically talks about. Uh, we just got another ins insider transaction. We got 25K shares added by the exercise, technically, by the uh, chief financial officer. 25K shares, my friends. 25,000 shares. Kathy Woods will invest in BNGO based on your bids. <laughs> no, that's from August. Yeah, that didn't. Yeah, I knew that was not new, obviously, but yeah. Oh, man. How long is this stream going to last? That's the question. It depends on the chat, honestly. It just. I, I want to know what it is, but I don't want to wait three hours. I'm not gonna if this is if this <laughs> we're not gonna be I'm not gonna last three hours. My voice will I, I will be dying if that happens. Um, but uh, but did Ark invest for all the people getting in right now? Right, basically what we're doing is we're basically just refreshing Kathy's Ark. That's what we're doing, um, and we're refreshing the uh, and refreshing the email that I just I just subscribed to the new newsletter, which apparently may give they may give us the update faster. But we're waiting to see for Ark G. If uh, if they if they have any transactions here, uh, hey Brandon, how much money do you need in a swing account to make it a full time job? That depends on how good you are at it, my friend. If you're making crazy returns, it, I mean, as long as you have a decent amount of money, you can. But a full time job, just swing trading, you better have a lot of money. And you better know what the hell you're doing. You better be you better be doing it for a long time. Which a lot of people, a lot of people, uh, they 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 overestimate the the um, the. I don't know the the skill and, and mental strength it would stay anyways for that if this happens and they invest we will hit all-time highs tomorrow baby uh, honestly i don't really know how high, like let's say they just got like i don't know let's say they added one hundred thousand shares or one million i don't know take your pick 
How much would that actually send the stock price? What are you guys up? What, what, uh, how much would that send the stock price up? What do you guys think? I think it would be at least, I don't think, I don't necessarily think we would go up 200% a day. I really, I don't necessarily think that's going to happen. Uh, there's, I think we would go, I mean, obviously we're going to go, we're going to moon, but how much, I don't know if it's going to be like 200% though. So, all right. Like 5% a week. I don't, it just, it depends on, it depends on your expenses. Obviously, man, it depends on your expenses, boomstick. But yeah, um, you already knew that, I guess, but. Also, it depends on what freaking state you live in. You live in California, you need to make freaking, you need to make 100% returns, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, made FDA approvals for the company she worked with before BNGO, and there was an article that she is employed to get FDA approval for BNGO. Ooh, I don't know if that's necessarily true. You know what? That sounds really interesting, so I'm actually going to look that up on stream right now. So FDA approval, uh, Alka, Alka Chabi, I don't know how to pronounce her name, uh, BNGO, uh, yeah, we'll see if anything comes up. Probably not. All right. Um, we'll join by... Okay, let me see. Let, actually, you know what? Yeah, let me... This one may actually be something. Let me read this. Key opinion leader in cytogenetics has developed, validated, and commercialized dozens of molecular and cytogenetic tests based on next-generation sequencing. Yeah, so she did the microarray. Yeah, that's right. That's what Brennan told me. I was on the phone yesterday with a with a very um, informed bionanian. And, micro, and this is what... And I remember him saying this, I think. CMA is what uh, is what Dr. Chubby is that you pronounce her name Chubby, Chubby, <laughs> Dr. Chubby. No, I'm messing around. Micro race CMA, <laughs> CMA. That's kind of what she did before, right? Next generation sequencing, CMA, which is our biggest competition essentially. Uh, that and karyotyping. She has led the FDA clearance of diagnostic tests and led the efforts to obtain reimbursement for novel novel assays that are widely used. Her experience will guide Bionet toward this goal of widespread clinical adoption for satellite. That's big. I'm actually, I should have known that before. And I'm telling you guys, I don't know everything about this company. I'm telling you. That's why this document, if I already knew everything about this company, this document would probably be like 5,000 pages long. All right. I'm learning stuff as I go as well, just like you all, right? I'm not a freaking all-knowing God. I know most of you understand this, but I'm going to add that to the freaking uh, document. I'm going to add that to the miscellaneous section. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. I love that. Thank you for whoever said that. I'm going to give you a shout out here in one second. Hold on. All right, boom. That's big. Yeah, that is big. Yep. She used to work for FDA. Yep, that is big. I mean, I mean, obviously, okay, all the people that have done have known everything about the company already knew that. Actually, a lot of people are not going to know this, Kate. I didn't even know this before. But, um, but yeah, this is obviously FDA approval is something that we're going to get down the line. We are going to get it. I mean, there at least there's no reason why they wouldn't want to get it eventually because um, it probably would help a little bit. Um, it just depends on how many of your clients are, are approved for laboratory developed tests, which I don't know the ratio of, cause that's just an impossible thing to measure. Um, so it, it's really hard to say. Yeah. All right. Let's check out. Let's re let's, um, what do you call it? Let's, let's refresh arc. See, that's the whole freaking point of the stream. Nothing, nothing. Are we going to get anything today? What do you, what do you guys think? Is there anyone in here that actually think and is willing to say, that ARC probably invested today. I don't think they did. I mean, we're streaming it for the possibility. Obviously, if they do actually invest, it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be it's gonna be a fun day. It's gonna be a very fun day. Also, talking about the close, we actually the market just actually closed like three minutes ago, um, and uh, yeah, we closed up very nicely. We closed doing very nicely, very nicely. After hours, we closed very, very nicely, my friends. Man, it has been such a nice ride. I, God, I feel so sorry for the bears. Like, literally so many bears. I don't, you know what? I don't feel sorry for the ones that are being annoying, though. Because literally, even today, even today, do you guys remember canned chicken? If you watched the earlier stream, the market open stream, literally giving me a ton of shit. And I'm not complaining. I'm just pointing out the fact that literally bears do not care. They are just trying to manipulate and take your fear and play off your fear, take your chairs and make money off you. Literally, the first red we see, bears come in. You don't know what you're doing. You should give it up. I mean, this man literally said I should give up the damn channel because BioNano is down 1%. Ark is not ready for BNGO. Uh, she will cry. <laughs> Ark is not ready. They can't handle it. The power for BioNano is just too strong. They can't wield the power. It's like freaking, uh, what do you call it? Stormbreaker. Stormbreaker. In, Th in uh, Avengers uh, Infinity War, right? When Thor tells the freaking galaxy... Uh, the freaking Chris Pratt and what's his name? Star, the, the Star Lord guy. Your minds would collapse into madness or whatever. You know, they can't wield the power. But I don't know. It's just too much. Kathy Wood is going to cry. Yeah, 
I like that. That's funny. I honestly don't think they did, but the streams are fun, so I don't care. <laughs> I love that. I love that you think that. That's awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my friends. Also, for anyone who is new here, most of you know this already, but since someone, since I saw Wall Street Bets in the chat, that reminds me of this. Please, if you have not already watched this, please watch. I'm, I'm going to give you a link right now. You can go. You can say, you can go get over this stream right. This stream is pretty boring right now. I'm not gonna lie. This could be the best stream of all time or the most boring one of all time. Right now, it's the most boring one. But actually, you know what? Let's just watch this live. Screw it. Screw it. Let's just watch this live. All right. I, I just love this freaking meme is too good. I'm going to read some comments while we watch this. <laughs> Ragnar's death on. Uh, let's see. All right. But yeah, no, that's not true. That's not true. Uh, I don't know who you are, but you popped up in my feed. And I also like BNGO. So I'll stick around. Hell yes, man. For all the new viewers here, screw the, screw the Lord of the Rings meme. Let me tell you what. Let me tell the new viewers what we're doing here. All right. We're refreshing. Literally, we're just straight up refreshing the freaking arc, Kathy's arc feed just to see if they are going to buy BioNano. Okay, now, did you get clickbaited? That's a damn good question. You kind of did. I'm going to be honest with you. You kind of did. Not technically, because I framed that as a question, you motherfucker. You, I framed that as a question. You, It was your decision to click on it. But anyways, uh, we had uh, three and a half million shares added right at the close, which also paired this with a little bit of speculation with Simon Barnett and Kathy Wood uh, and the CMA and Fish and Keratiden becoming obsolete. Kathy Wood trumping Simon, Simon not knowing what the hell they're doing, second genomic analyst, right? And then the big ideas report of 2021. You factor all that in, and you've got a you've got a realistic case, a low, a low likelihood case of ARK investing, I would say. I think there's a realistic chance that they have invested today. I don't think it's likely, though. I'm not expecting it to be honest with you, but we're streaming it for the chance of it because if they did it, uh, it would be absolutely insane. It'd be absolutely insane. Um what the heck? We got copyrighted audio in the stream. What the hell? Why do we have copyrighted audio in the stream? There was no audio. Did you guys just hear some audio on the stream that I did not? What? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. How did I just get copyrighted for audio? You got to be kidding me. Again, the damn YouTube copyrights. Oh, I hate them. I hate them. How do I keep getting copyrighted? Oh, all right. Never quit YouTube. I'm using you as my financial advisor. <laughs> No, no, no. That's not what I want. No, 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 man. No. Oh, man. We approve the clickbait. <laughs> That's funny as hell, man. No, 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 no. I don't want to be your financial advisor, my friend. All right. Anyways, someone whistleblowed the talks with BNGO Arc, so Simon is mad with Arc. Uh, here's the thing. Simon Barnett doesn't know what the hell he's doing. He doesn't understand that CMA, fish, and karyotyping has no place in the world, and Sapphire and optical genome mapping is literally taking over all 500 base pair and greater structural variation detection, along with a single uh, nucleotide variation detection soon. So it's just, it doesn't fundamentally, I mean, you can't make an argument. <laughs> you can't, there is no way that one can understand what Simon Barnett is thinking. Like, I'm sure he's a good person, but let's be honest, okay? Not only were his cheats, were his tweets cheats, were his tweets highly uh, uneducated and misinformed, in my opinion, but he doesn't have a genomics background, to my knowledge, to my, to my understanding. This guy comes from a finance degree, man. This is an analyst that works for an investment firm, Ark Invest, man. He is not a scientist. He is not one that you can realistically say that he's able to trump the opinions of all of the freaking like literally dozens myriad of scientists and phd phds that literally guarantee and prove and validate sapphire's worth in examining uh two diodum river reference genomes using long read sequencing okay literally all you if you're gonna make the stance that arc and, and that that sapphire is not worth it you better have some highly scientific jargon behind you and have a really simple argument because there's already been hundreds if not thousands of scientists that have literally confirmed bio nano having a huge huge role to play in greater than 500 base pair detection and literally gonna it's gonna be and they're implying based on their studies it's gonna be the go-to standard of cytogenetics greater than 500 base pair detection so there's no reason why simon <laughs> i don't know what he's i don't know i have i don't know the only explanation is that this guy didn't do his research right that's the only explanation that's it I mean, the guy, I don't know. I'm, I'm ranting at this point. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, boys. Can we talk numbers here? What do you expect BNG to go to? Yeah, we can talk numbers, of course. Whatever, any questions you guys have, I try, I look I look at pretty much every comment. I, sh I should be able to. We approve of the clickbait. Uh, news will come after 10 mins. Uh, okay, hold on. Um, was that the ARC game website? <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> at the very start of the stream, I had the I had a gaming website on accident. I clicked on ARC. I tried to go to their website, and then I actually clicked on the gaming. All right, anyways. I expect BioNano. Well, here's the thing. 
I don't expect BioNano to do great things short term, to be honest with you, because I don't have faith in the freaking people that invest in it. We know if you just watched my channel, my last video, right? We know that literally this chief financial officer literally like not even two hours ago, or I guess technically, okay, I guess it was technically like three hours ago, technically like exactly. Literally, he just picked up 25K shares. He just exercised this option right here to pick up options at a price at a, of 56 cents. 25,000 shares, my friends, 25,000, all right? We're going to moon, mate. Good morning. Right. <laughs> I don't know. I, for some reason, I really, I can't wait till the morning stream so I can say good morning, Vietnam. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. I'm having too much fun with these streams, man. God, I'm too irrelevant. I got to ask me relevant questions so I don't go off about irrelevant stuff. You guys have to keep me focused on stocks or else I will go, I will go on tangents, man. You guys know what you're getting into. When you click on this channel, not only are you getting like bad video quality. This is my phone, by the way. You're looking at me through the damn phone that literally the Wi-Fi flickers out all the time. Literally like that Wi-Fi will go out. It's happened on stream before. Um, and the audio, I mean, guys, the audio is good, but it's a ragtag setup, man. You're literally just getting me. I'm literally just a normal retail investor. That's all I am. And that sounds a little arrogant. It's like, oh, I'm one of the boys. I'm totally one of you guys. Well, I mean, you can you can see that I am. Obviously, you know, I've literally got, I'm just a simple eight, man. I got 100% of my portfolio in bio nanogenomics. I'm a bull, man. I mean, I've got my average cost. I've got, I'm, now I'm, I'm actually in the green 10% now after bag holding for so long. Because I've been averaging down and doing the damn due diligence for so, so long. 93 pages, boys. 93. We finally, uh, we're finally in the green. All right, but anyways, enough ranting. Oh my gosh, somebody stop me from ranting. Somebody do something. Somebody come to my house and just stop me. All right, uh, <laughs> no, please don't do that. Never mind. Recap, do you think ARK just bought or will buy? No, I don't think they will. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I don't think, I think there's a low chance that ARK bought today. Um, I really do think there's a low chance, but you pay, I mean, I've always, I've already given you, I'm not going to give you the spiel again. Cause like, there's not that many new viewers, uh, from when I last explained it, but basically there is a compelling case to be made, not compelling, but like, there's a realistic chance that ARK invested today. And if they did the possibility of them investing today is why we're streaming. Like if they did invest, this is the best stream of all time and all, and this, <laughs> this is the best stream of all time. If they did, I don't think they will. I think it's less than. I think it's less than a 10% chance, probably. I don't know. That's really, that, it's hard to, it's hard to uh, substantiate a number like that, right? I don't have much evidence for that. That's just what I'm thinking, man, based on all the stuff that I've looked at. So, yeah. Anyways, um, let me see. So, so what are the questions that we have? You want, I didn't really give you guys a number for my price target for buying it. Well, we can go over here to my current positions tab here after we refresh this. Let's refresh this one more time. If they actually did invest, wouldn't it be so ironic if they invest, if they, if they updated it and I just go on a rant for like 10 minutes and I don't see it and everyone's in the chat like, Brandon, they just invested, let's go. And I'm just ranting about like some bear or something. That's probably going to happen. Or the other thing that's going to happen for sure is that we end the stream and then, and then they invest immediately. One of those two things will probably happen. Or number three, they don't invest. Or number four, they take a short position. How crazy would that be? How crazy would that be if ARC reported... Uh, how crazy would it be if they actually shorted their position? Shorted by Odin. I mean, that would suck. All right. Howard lurking. All right. <laughs> All right, boys. Uh, uh, okay, you dollar cost average today. Uh, it went down by a whopping seven cents. That's good, man. That's good. <laughs> it looks like we did close above the 200-day MA on the four-hourly. Uh, yeah, yeah, we did. Actually, let me look at the four-hourly. Yeah, the, the 200-day EMA and MA, we closed right on them both, I believe. Okay, no. Yeah, yeah, this is what this is the one thing that I'm scared about for Bionair from the technical standpoint. And of course, guys, if people knew what the hell they were doing and if people did their research, they would realize that not only did we get 25k shares added by the CFO not four hours ago, but we also got six hundred and fifty thousand dollars in unexpected revenue through a China Sapphire adoption through uh yeah, uh, that was released on the night. That was it was the contract was signed on the nineteenth and then it was released to the public on May twenty fourth. Neither of those things affected the stock price whatsoever from what I can tell. I mean it doesn't take a genius to figure out, oh, the news dropped and we're still down. We didn't move, right? It didn't affect the stock price, right? So no one knows about this damn news. So so we're fundamentally undervalued. And you can make the argument that, oh, we're getting rejected at two hundred day EMA. I would argue that we're getting ready for a retest because we didn't really get a harsh rejection. Typically when you get a rejection you touch it and you go down for a retracement. We got to bounce very quickly at what is that? 610, 611. We got to bounce very, we got a quick bounce. We've got dip buyers. We've got people that are ready to, uh, that are, that are, that are bullish just like us, man. So, so it's very, it's very bullish right now. That's the only somewhat bearish indicator that you can find. It's four hourly EMA. 
uh, 200 day exponential moving average that is. I'm late to X speed from the beginning till I catch up. GG. Have fun with that, my friend. <laughs> Brandon, I'll go live. BNG would be a nice time to day trade. Um, well, of late, yes. I wouldn't try to day trade. Well, you, I mean, day trading is fine short term, but you're going to miss a lot of profits long term. Here's why you're going to miss out a lot of profits. I think if you if you day trade BioNano for a long time, I, this is why I think you're going to miss out. Let me maximize the chart so you can actually see what I'm talking about here. Uh, let me go to let me go to the daily chart here so I can actually give the example I usually do. I'm sorry for giving the same example, but it's a good example, right? What I think of right now is like we invested in the stock, like, I don't know, uh, 25 cents. This is just an analogy, okay? We didn't literally invest back here. But the people who are have been holding Bionio since like February, like me, and actually technically January and December for me, uh, or even February, right? You bought here. We were way up. We were 50, 100% up, whatever it is. Now we've, we, we chose to hold, or at least I did. We chose to hodl. Now it's near our cost basis right now. And, uh, Yes, you can day trade this and make make a plenty of money, but what you're going to miss out is this because when you start day trading and when you start going up 100%, 500%, 1000%, your instinct tells you to sell. But if you look at the news and if you do your due diligence and your fundamental analysis, you realize that the sell off or that or that the run up still has plenty of room to go. Uh and and my and my whole thing is if you're going to day trade, you're going to miss out on runs like this and initially and and after they start going because of FOMO, because of, of a couple of reasons. Number one, you can't predict the damn news if you're a day trader. It's impossible. It's absolutely impossible. You cannot do it. Um, even if you keep up with the fundamentals, that's why I'm not selling any bio nano partly. I'm more of not selling anything because of market manipulation and I want to make a damn, I want to make a damn stand. It's the fellowship of the sapphire, man. It's the fellowship of the sapphire. I have sapphire hands. But anyways, yeah, that's that's a whole nother rant. And I'm yeah, I'll just leave you with that. Okay. I don't want to go to a rant on a thousand years about that. Anyways, what are the, what are the questions we have? You guys hear the same damn rants like every five like every five minutes on the streams. I want to switch it up. Will we go back to the 17 level anytime soon? $17 level for Bio Nano. Uh, we w here's the thing. Bio Nano, I think this. And now make sure you don't take me out of context here, but we will Bio Nano will see all time highs again uh in the next few months, I think, if if the NASDAQ and, and the broader markets, right? So the IWM, the S&P, the Dow Jones, if those four indexes or indices, whatever you want to say it, uh, if those three, if those four can actually go above all-time highs, confirm the breakout, and then go higher or stay the same roughly, BioNano, I, I would be very surprised if BioNano is not at all-time highs within the next few months. Uh, and the reason for that is not only that the valuation of us last time the Nasdaq was at all time highs was this, but because high growth is going to get a bounce and probably a damn big bounce with these current set to rotation potentially happening also because of the rubber band effect, right? We talk about the rubber band effect all the time. And me, Kevin actually did a really good uh, articulation of that as well. And I totally agree with him on the uh, on the rubber band effect. It is 100% true. And you saw that with AMC today. Uh, let me talk about that real quick. We saw with AMC you were up, uh, you were up like, I don't know, 40% at highs and you ended the day up, what, like 30, 20, 20% th or 30%? Th okay, 35%. That's better than I thought. Anyways, yeah, people, people that took profits at the top here, it's, it's, yes, you got rejected at $30, but also it's because when you have a stock going up like this and valued up here and you have high growth over here or other stocks right here, these people are going to sell and take their money and go in there. It's just fundamental. If you're holding a recovery stock and the recovery sector has boomed and high growth has gotten killed, your natural inclination is going to be to reallocate your portfolio, man. It doesn't take a genius to figure out the rubber band effect. And there's more. To, there's a little more to it than that, but that's that's the fundamental idea. All right, let me refresh this, man. Nothing. All right, uh, can we get a market board besides Brandon on the top twenty shareholders that are our subscribers? A marker board. Says braided top 20 shareholders that are subscribers. That'd be cool. Uh, I don't know. I, I have a feeling tomorrow will not be our day, or I could be totally wrong tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be the economic calendar. 100%. Tomorrow is going to be insane. And I also, that is a good point that I actually, that I just thought about. Please, if you are holding Bionero shares right now, I need you all to understand something that tomorrow could be absolutely horrible. And I want you to please sell at the very start of pre-market or before, before, set before, one hour uh before 7 30 uh central time or 8 30 eastern time because that's when the inflation number comes out if the core inflation is bad 
Bio Nano could see $5 below $5 again, below $4, below $3 even, okay? I want everybody in these green times where everyone is down, everyone's a genius, right? When everyone's going up, when no one, you know, everyone likes Bio Nano now. Oh, it's going green three days in a row. I love the stock, right? Everyone literally, it, it sucks that people cannot remember the due diligence that they've done and they only like it when it's green, but whatever, that's just life, okay? I understand what the how, how it is dealing with comments on the streams, right? They, they piss me off. I need to do better at handling them, but understand that tomorrow's a big risk. It's a, it's a damn big risk. If you're going to hold through with me, you have to understand that we are going to see carnage. It's just a damn matter of time. Now, in my opinion, it's also a damn matter of time if, until we moon, until we make a lot of money. Uh, but if you are at all one of those people that's going to get mad at me for holding and you holding, uh, just sell tomorrow, sell right now or, or in the pre-market tomorrow and, and save me the damn time, please, man. I know most of you are, I know most of you understand that, but I have to say it because I know. I mean, literally, we saw in the pre in the uh, in the right at the market open. Bionic was red. We had bears. We had bears coming out of hibernation for the first time, like for three weeks. They were like, dude, just I mean, literally, quote the guy said, "Give it up." Oh man, <laughs> I get so pissed off when people say that stuff, and I know that some of them just straight up want attention to just straight up want me to get pissed off, and they do a good job of it. But it is very, it's maddening. Anyways, Ajinomis ETF. Uh, Brandon, maybe best if you refresh on the combined tip. Yeah, I thought of that. Yeah, they could technically. Yeah, I guess I can. I guess I can switch with combined. Um, yeah, it's technically true. Yeah, I guess I'll just leave it there. I guess see if they update any. All right, sure. If you're long on BNGO, it's a win-win. If it goes up, we win. If it goes down, we get a chance to average down and buy cheaper shares. The LFG, yes, 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 yes. That's true. But the thing is, for me, yeah, we do, we do win. But it is a win-win. But but kind of not really. Because for me, I I hate. When the channel does bad and I get the hate just because Bionic was red on the day. That sucks for me. And I know it's like, Brandon, come on. You need to deal with it. You need to deal with this. You need to be, you've been doing YouTube for a while. You need to get your damn act together, dude. Stop caring what they say. I don't know. I just, I'm getting better at it. It's just, I can't, I, I'm not going to lie to you guys and say that I, I don't get very pissed off. I mean, you see me lose my, I, I literally lose my shit when I bear say crap. Okay. I literally lose my shit on stream. Okay. Today, today I lose, I lost my shit again. So. Party auspicious descent house with his brand new guitar. <laughs> BNGO is still in big speculative territory. No, I definitely can deny that, and I will. No, it's absolutely not. I mean, I mean, by by, if you want to say, oh, it's speculative because it's a penny stock, it's a low cap stock. Sure, that's true. But if you actually do the fundamental research and understand that the market manipulation is proven in the stock price, and not only is it proven, it is factually happening to this day. It happened today again. Um, or at least it probably did. I don't technically have proof of manipulation, but it's basically happening, guarantee. It's basically 99% chance. Uh, also, if you just look at the fundamental value of the company, it's only increased since 1569. So buying now, the only thing that can screw you, buying now is the is the markets. That's it. And that's a realistic threat, but uh, but no, long-term, it's not speculative at all. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. There's no, there's nothing speculative about literally becoming the new standard of care and greater than 500 base pair detection uh, when literally the standard of care, to my knowledge, I'm not a geneticist, but according to the company, in pretty recent times, in, in presentation, uh, literally karyotyping is still, karyotyping and CMA, those are the two standards of, standards of care in cytogenetics, in greater than 500 base pair structural variation detection. And BioNano does it better than them in everything at a cheaper cost. They're cost effective, less uh, a faster turnaround time and less hands-on time, and it's more accuracy. So there's no reason why a product like that is speculative. And at the fundamental level, really, people like to say, and I say that sometimes revenue is the company at the fundamental truth. It's really the product, honestly. Have you, I think fundamentally the product is maybe even more important than the revenue because all the revenue derives from the product, obviously. And that's why, and that's the fallacy of composition, right? People saying, oh, we're at a high price to earnings ratio. It's going to zero. Bitcoin is going to zero. Tesla's going to zero. I'm shorting everything. Ah, right? the bears that go into hibernation conveniently when it's green, right? For example, today, for example, canned chicken today when he said I was a fake in the market stream. Anyways, um, you have to look at the product and you have to look at the future growth and the revenue growth, which for Bionino, you know, by the way, 60% year of year revenue growth next five years projected by analysts, not me. I'm not projecting that. That sounds like something I would project. Nope, that's not something I'm projecting. That's something analysts are projecting, my friends. All right, speculative, yeah, but so is all of EV and Bitcoin. No, it just depends on your definition of speculative, in my opinion. Like, that's fine, Havana, that's a fine argument. But, dude, 
dude, it's not speculative if you do your due diligence. It's not, in my, in my view, right? Speculative means that there's a low chance of success. There's a lot of leaps of faith. It's a lot of imagination. Uh, there's not much proof of concept. BioNano has proof of concept, and it has the revenue projections. It has the product. It has the market penetration. It has nano also confirmed. Sapphire 2.0 confirmed. Uh, we've got Lineage and making new revenue. We've got five large clinical studies coming out. We've got two of them coming out this year. We've got target markets that are literally being penetrated, according to the CEO. We've got uh, we've got the freaking uh, we got insiders adding shares right now. I mean, I, I'm not even I don't even know why I go in these spiels because you guys literally hear it every five minutes or so. But yeah, that's it's not speculative. It, in my for my definition, BioNano is not speculative. If your definition of speculative is like, oh, it might not succeed. Of course, that's every damn stock in the market, including Apple, including uh, including Amazon. All right, there's technically no one knows what the hell is going to happen. Technically, no one knows anything. In the future, how are you gonna know what the future? No, you don't. Okay, so in hindsight, oh, I knew that. No, you didn't know. You picked something and you got right. Anyways, yeah, I'm ranting at this point. God, I'm ranting. Stop me from ranting, please. All right, let me refresh it. Uh, okay, let me refresh here. <laughs> All right, if you have a second, could you check out STEM? Uh, maybe at the end, maybe at the end, not right now because we got 100 viewers, which is more than typically zero. Brandon, do you notice so many stocks that have bid buys boosted the last minute? Yes, it is. And we talked about that at the start of the stream. Yes. Pretty much every stock has the exact same sparkline for the whole day, actually, in high growth, but ex especially the last five minutes. This is actually more bullish for BioNano, believe it or not. And it's actually because I thought the reason that BioNano, and, and you see this in the insider transaction video that I actually didn't know this at the time of filming it, um, we went up last minute not because of the insider transactions, but because the dang high growth, which means that again, no one does their research on BioNano. No one adds shares. No one is more bullish. They just don't even care about the insider. Literally, the chief financial officer of all people, literally buying and exercising to, and getting twenty five thousand shares today. Today, I mean, the transaction was yesterday. Technically, it was filed today. It's like I don't know. It, it's very frustrating that no one cares about the news for Bionic. It's very frustrating. And I mean, this is as bullish as it gets almost, essentially. So it, it is very frustrating. All right. Let me scroll up here. I missed a lot of questions here. Need to close above uh, 642 tomorrow to hammer up green on the monthly tomorrow. Dude, the monthly chart is just like, eh. The monthly chart is just, eh. It's like, eh, I don't really care. You know, it's like, well... Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, we, it already kind of is a hammer candle. What do you mean? It already is a kind of a hammer candle. Uh, it would be nice if it could go green, but it's already, it's still, it's, it's still got that fundamental, uh, um, fundamental, uh, nature of the hammer candle, right? The price action gets pushed down, buyers step in, push it back up, signaling that the, that the, that the demand is there, right? Supply is way higher. All right. Um, tendies. Spread the word on Wall Street Bet, homies. They're very receptive right now to new ticker ideas. Yes, 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 that's exactly what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. They're very receptive right now to new ticker ideas. Man, I'm going to lose my voice if I keep yelling like that, but I don't care. It's worth it. The Fellowship of the Sapphire, please go upvote this one. Please go upvote. This is literally quintessential uh, Wall Street Bet material, right? It's literally Lord of the Rings. It's BioNano themselves, right? The Fellowship of the Sapphire. I didn't create that name. I, I, I should, whoever created that name at the start, please, thank you whoever did that. Thank you whoever did that. But I'm going to link that in the chat right now. Everyone go support that Wall Street Bets, man. And I, as I say, some people disagree with me. It's fine if you disagree with me, if you're a bull. We all know where BioNano is getting at the end of the day. Long term, it doesn't matter what happens. It doesn't matter what happens in the short term stock price. We, the company is going to do great things regardless. Um, but uh, it would be a net positive, I believe. I, I firmly believe that it would be a net positive for the stock if Wall Street Bets were to help us pump it to $10 or whatever. And even if we dump down to $8 or $7, as long as we end the end of the dump uh, higher than the uh, start of the pump, it's still a net positive. And I still I think it's unlikely that we were going to actually pump and dump if Wall Street Bets were to do that because the fundamental value is way higher. And you got people like me that would likely, our channel would likely explode if that would actually happen and BioNet would actually explode. And uh, people would see me People would see the due diligence. People would see me holding all my shares. And if Wall Street Bets were to actually adopt that idea, you guys already know what we're doing. We're holding. 
we're holding that and that's the only way to avoid pump and dump claims and although it kind of sucks it's like wow you really can't make much money by short-term trading just for the fact of caring what other people think it's true but at the same time technically it is kind of pump and dumping if i were to sell after starting this starting the squeeze on wall street butts so i'm not i don't think i don't think i'm gonna do that you know i've already promised i'm not so i can't uh nasdaq futures are up what do you think of that i think it's crazy i really think it's absolutely insane what is going on i'm a little bit skeptical on the markets just that the futures are up so much i need water my, my throat is hurting so much all right uh but 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 the markets right i'm just going to talk a little quieter here about hey let me just get a little closer to mike all right basically uh the uh, the russell 2000 is up dow is up after hours um qqq is up the fear index is down still after going down seven percent on the day um it's looking very good for tomorrow and i'm very i'm very worried about this to be honest with you i think this could be i think this could be a fake out man and I, it doesn't really matter what the markets do right now because literally all it is is this that's all it is and it could be that this is a fake out and the institutions are all going to sell pre-market because they all know that this is going to be a horrible number right here and worse than 0.6 percent like expected or the more likely, based on what we saw today, the more likely option, in my opinion, okay, it's basically a gamble if inflation is going to be less or higher than this. No one knows. Like, I mean, most people don't know, at least. Um, be, the fact that they actually, that the market is betting on inflation being good tomorrow and not and less than this is very bullish. It's, I mean, it doesn't take a genius to figure out. People, traders are betting tomorrow is going to be good. That's what it's, and it's a Friday. So, it, we could be seeing some serious pumpage if uh, if they if they are right about their bets today, but we'll see. All right, so, uh, Kathy Wood says she has to report all buys in the ETF after close every day. I'm not subscribed to the newsletter, but someone will who is will let the world know when it when it shows up. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I'm not really worried about refreshing it uh, like instant like every five every five seconds because at the end of the day, y'all are going to get the email probably quicker than I can actually refresh it and and time it perfectly right. So y'all will tell me and then and then we'll refresh it and see which it probably is not going to be anything. But we'll it, it's still worth it. It's still worth streaming I think. Plus we can talk about other stuff. What are the questions that we have? No, no, no. Thanks for wasting time. Hey, hey, man. Hey, uh, Jack, man. I, I mean, that, that's fine. Yeah, of course, there is no arc so far, but uh, it's your choice to stay here. And uh, there's a question mark for a reason. And I've said several times in the stream, and I'll do the disclaimer again. Uh, this is, um, there's not a, there's not a guarantee of ARK investing. That's why I put the damn question mark there, bro. I mean, it's not, of course, if, if ARK invested, I would have said ARK invested in Bionino. No, I just said, did ARK just invest, right? Cause we have speculation that, you know, we have three and a half million shares being added today. And we're curious to see if that's actually going to be ARK. We're waiting on their filings for today and their trades today, which it could be. I don't think, I don't think they're going to invest full transparency right i've said this several times if you've been keeping up the stream i'm sorry for all of my ogs watching all of it i have to repeat myself for uh people that don't really you know the fallacy composition jack was respectfully likes to effectuate people like that i understand it i understand it but uh yeah it is frustrating but anyways sorry for repeating it but i have to yeah arc has not invested yet but we're still we're still staying as of now i don't know how long the stream is going to go on I don't know. I can't go on more than another hour. We're probably, I don't know. We'll just, we'll just go until there's no viewers left. <laughs> we'll just go until I die and fall out of my chair. Until I, until I break another chair, right? I literally broke my last chair. I just fell, I fell out of my last chair like last week, literally. <laughs> I did. I'm serious. I, I literally snapped in half. Let's be honest. A terrible result is already priced in. Anything other than a dumpster fire and we should be green tomorrow. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Kieran James, I agree with you. I Well, actually, I don't necessarily though. Low Jack Robbie's bro. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. That's too funny. But yeah, let's be honest. A terrible result is already priced in. And this is in regards to the economic counter, the core inflation, right? A terrible result. Uh, okay. So the terrible inflation numbers are already priced in anything other than a dumpster fire. And we should be green tomorrow. Uh, that's a, that's a reasonable proposition. And I would argue, and I, I largely agree with that. Cause I think that, uh, the, one of the ways that you can potentially justify the sell-off that we've got since April 29th, is the worries for inflation on the way down we got bad inflation news and as people are starting to realize hey the likelihood of us getting germany post world war one inflation levels where you're wiping your arse with with money very unlikely at least for the month of april remember if we're going to get horrible inflation if peter Schiff is going to be totally right and it's literally going to be like gold is literally just going to and bitcoin is going to boom right if he's right about that it's, it's probably not going to come all at once um, and even if it does, even if it does come all at once, I mean, if it does come all at once, we're, we're screwed. I mean, there's no other way to say it. Bionium is going to hit $4, $3, maybe not even necessarily four or $3, but it's going to be ugly if it does. So yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a lot there. <laughs> James, your mom said, make sure 
You bring some milk. I just got done with your mom. Oh, my, oh. <laughs> dude, come on. This isn't the high school lunch table. Come on, man. All right, it's not fully priced in, bro. This is the first time I've ever, I've ever respectfully disagreed. No, no, no. I don't think it fully is. No, no, no. I don't seriously. I don't think it fully is. No, Mark. I don't think it is. I don't think I didn't. I didn't try to say. I'm sorry if you if you thought I implied that. I think that's a reasonable argument to make that it's it's you know that the the worst case is, is that some of it is already priced in. And and what Kieran said is exactly uh, a terrible result is already priced in. Anything other than a dumpster fire, we should be good tomorrow, right? So. If it's going to be horrible, it's already priced in largely. And if it is horrible, it's going to be bad. Obviously, it's going to be really bad. But if it's not, if it's expected or not horrible or better than expected, we're going to be green. We're going to be big green and everything's basically going to be moving. Uh, essentially, that's what I think is likely to happen. Honestly, if inflation is, is less than 0.6%, high growth could see another day uh, similar to that day where Bionic went 10%, which was last week. Was that, uh, no, was that Monday? Was that, was that yesterday? I'm going insane. I can't think right now. It's too late. It's too late. Somebody tell me, Bionio did go up 10% yesterday. Is that right? Hold on. Let me just check and make sure the chart lines up with what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I did. Okay. Yes. 10% yesterday. Yes. Okay. I think. But yeah, um, I don't think, no, no, no. I don't necessarily agree with that though, but I think, I think that's right. Mostly. I agree with most of that. It, some of it is, there's a lot of it that is priced in, I believe. But I also think that the government spending and bad inflation numbers together can send the markets into a 20% correction at any time. But now, is that likely? No, I think it's probably less than a 5 certainly less than a 10% chance for the next few weeks and maybe months. Um, so keep an eye open for Jack and Robbie, bear nightmares. <laughs> Dude, Robbie and Jack, they have nightmares about the bulls and Bionin are going up, honestly, these last few days. Honestly, AMC will probably steal the show again tomorrow. Um, dude, all it takes, all it takes, boys, all it takes is this post right here to get uh, another 400 upvotes like our due diligence did, which uh, I'm very curious as to how this is not getting very many upvotes just because the first time I posted this when Wall Street Bets originally removed this, it got like 20 upvotes in five minutes. Now it's been up for like a day or two and it's not even got 40. It's like, that doesn't make sense. You know, it doesn't make sense at all. But anyways... Uh, yeah, Wall Street bets, they are looking for new tickers, man. They are looking for new tickers. And if Bio Nano, if we can get some Bionano memes up there, man, it's going to be a net positive for the stock. It will be. It will. <laughs> More GME food. Oh, man. I love Wall Street bets. I'm a sucker for Wall Street bets, man. I really am. All right. 9% of Earth invested in the AMC today, which is insane. It comes out at like early, what? Uh, how many shares of BNG do you have? It's raining outside bed. 36,500 a day. Havana, that is absolutely awesome. You are awesome, Havana. Um, let me see. What are the questions we have here? We're going to end the stream. I don't know when we're going to end the stream, but we're going to end it like within 30 minutes probably if they don't update it and we, and we don't have something cool to talk about because this is just, we don't have, we've talked about mostly everything. I mean, let me see if I forgot something here. Um, clickbait, close for growth stocks, pack bio. I'm uh, talking about the insider ownerships for pack bio, right? The insider ownership arc has been selling pack bio a little bit, I believe. Also, the insider trans this is the insider transaction for BNGO, but the insider transactions for pack bio are very bad. Pair that with the CEO of BioNano being insanely bearish on uh pack bio's long term outlook just because of their product uh inefficiencies and and uh not just the, the lack of uh, a need for them, really. Um, Pair those things together and you got a nice bear case for Illumina. Or not Illumina, Pad Bio. Illumina's actually got a bull case. Illumina's actually not that bad. Uh according to what I know. Which basically what I'm basing, I don't I'm not I don't know. You guys know Havana. Some of y'all know more about the competition than I do, but what I know is what Eric thinks about them, and that's pretty much just what I trust, essentially, as of right now at this point. Um, at least mostly. But anyways, uh my point is that Pat Bio has been selling Bio Nano or not Pat, but God, I cannot talk these late at night. Arc has been selling Pat Bio. And maybe they're looking for a new company like Bionic Genomics to fill the gap there because they did obviously they did list them in the uh, in the report here, and uh, we have three and a half million shares added. So, also question for everyone out there: How much would how much would Bionic go up tomorrow, or how much would we how much would, what would we, what would we peak at? What would the price target be, or however you want to answer this? What would the price target be if Arc invested? 1 million shares in BNGO and and that's actually what and that's actually what we get today. What do you think? How many? How how much would we go up? 
Would you love your opinion on that April 26th Simon tweet? I tell you what, uh, I'm going to do, I got a lot of stuff I got to do. I got to freaking register for the Fintel Premium. I got to decide if we're going to do this registration. If we don't do the registration for the BNGO conference, I'm just going to add uh, 160 shares. Or no, not 160, $160 worth of shares because that's how much I got um, in money-wise, money terms from the stream. That was the vi that was the that was the one that said I'm gonna do this, uh, and then everyone sent me money for it. Um, so and that was obviously partly for the Fintel that I owe premium, but I'm just gonna do this just to be extra nice and extra uh, honest and transparent. So, so yeah, I'm gonna add. I'm gonna, I, we're either gonna do this and uh, or or we're gonna add a ton of shares. Uh, anyways, I gotta do that. I also gotta make a new Weeble account. Uh, what do you call it? Boom Boomstick keeps telling me to do the freaking uh, the new account. I need to do that. I need to do that. There's a ton of stuff I got to do. I'm sorry, boys. It's just, I, we're going to get it, we're, especially on the weekend. After Friday, we're going to have, it's a three-day weekend in the market. We'll be able to get a lot of improvements on the channel done. All right. Uh, it would go up 40%. $8 hairs. Nice. $8 has. $8. Um, if Archie invests tomorrow, we going up to $10 tomorrow with Wall Street bad intention. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, that would be nice. Let's start Jim Craber style jokes on Wall Street bets about Pat Bion Illumina. <laughs> Brandon, chart the QQQ. If it stays above 300, then I believe it would be gray sign of the market not crashing. All right, sure. We can chart the QQQ right now, uh, or at least uh, a little bit. Um, sure. I usually actually chart the NASDAQ itself, which is basically, I mean, it's basically the exact same chart. So I'm just going to do this. Anyways, yeah, let me see if there's any other great questions in here. $100 end of year, bowl hungry. Gonna go eat some canned chicken. <laughs> I get that's a nice inside joke. I like that. All right. Uh, lowest of the price target. It would go up one over one hundred percent of the course of a couple weeks with Arc buying. You think so? You think so? Did you notice that they sold a sapphire to MGZ Munich? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. They did. Well, they didn't sell it. Well, yes, they did sell it technically. But we got the news today that it was um. What was it? Uh, is it up here? Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? They there was a picture. Uh, which chat was it in? I don't know which chat it was in, but basically, yeah, I did see that picture of an in, another installation. In uh, here, let me just go to the Reddit. I know it's on the Reddit page. Hold on, hold on. Uh, here we go, right here. So another staffer today in Germany, right? Genetic Medical Center, Mune. Okay, geez. Uh, does someone want to tell me how to pronounce that? I guess it doesn't matter. But yeah, look at the freaking size of that thing, man. Look at the freaking size of this thing. We always talk about the size, and for good reason, dude. Holy, that thing is bigger than the monitor. Look at the freaking size difference of that. It's bigger than this girl's head, dude. <laughs> I always talk about that because it's so funny. But yeah, anyways, yeah, that's good. That's another good thing, man. More installations, more more potential revolutions in healthcare. Yeah. Um, all right, what else do we have? What else do we have to talk about? <laughs> how long? Guys, let me ask you this seriously. Okay, this is kind of sad for me to ask, but how long should we wait for the actual transaction? I've heard people throw out the number of, you know, of them usually giving the update of about in about uh of i don't know they usually most people say it's like seven at least most people that i saw seven eastern time to 10 eastern time which would be six to nine central and right now it's seven forty three central so like we got like a technically an hour and 20 minutes until they could probably be the latest realistically they could update it do we really want to stream for another hour and 20 minutes i'm probably going to sleep if we stream for another uh one hour and 20 minutes 17 more minutes on average eight eight o'clock Till tomorrow. Should we just stream all the way into completely market open tomorrow and just see the inflation news? I can try. I'll try. Usually before 9 Eastern time. So Okay, yeah, so 15 minutes. Okay, good. Good, good, good. All right, I'll keep it on the screen then if you're telling the truth. Somebody somebody fact check that for me, though. Somebody, somebody tell me that's true. <laughs> They're very unreliable with timing. It's really late for about 35 minutes. What do you mean? It's very late if they don't do it in 35 minutes? What do you mean exactly? All right. The science is undisputable. I think it is. I think it is. Um, one thing that does scare me is that the uh, Oxford Nanopore or NAB sees someone replicates the technology, but at the end of the day, CEO has said no one else is close to doing what we do, and the innovation for us is just going to keep increasing. Um, and there's no other reason why Sapphire is not going to be globally adopted uh, one day. Uh, and there's no reason why nanonozzle is not going to happen. So I believe in it. I believe in the company, man. I really do. Hey, man, I really like listening to your YouTube channel, but for real, how much cocaine do you do a day? <laughs> oh, man, you want to know the truth on why I'm so crazy today and why I was so crazy in this stream? We had uh, 
and the market closed, it was because I actually, I watched a trades trade stream for a second because I saw AMC up 40, 40%. I was like, man, I haven't watched this guy in forever. Let's see, let's see, let's see what he's doing. And then I just saw him literally having more energy than me. And I was like, dude, you're not going to beat me on this. I, I am more crazy than you are. I do more cocaine than you are. <laughs> I'm messing, but, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Napsies doesn't have anything. It doesn't. It doesn't. And, and right now, boys, if you're if you're new right now and you think I'm I'm, I'm smoking cocaine because I'm so insane, just watch the market open streams. <laughs> just watch the market open streams. I, you will be entertained. Oh, you're not entertained. Just trust me. You'll be entertained at my at my my, uh, my sporadic, crazy seizure like movement and talking at on the market at the market open. Trust me, my friends. And tomorrow is going to be crazy. Tomorrow is going to be absolutely insane probably it's going to be insane it's going to be really good or really bad this is what we need we need this to be like point one. Oh my gosh i can't even look at that handwriting let me try that again man wow brandon you really are you really are like prone for seizures it looks like oh come on get that in there i can barely do this my mouse ah oh my gosh it's so bad it's so bad oh that looks horrible yeah that yeah point one percent that's what we need that was trying, I was attempting to say 0.1%. Brandon, my wife works at MD Anderson in the research part, uh, department. Would you like me to find the doctor that did the study? Uh, the CEO, Eric, mentioned on the conference call, get her to email you, email for you. Um, oh, that would be, that would be pretty good. Um, I, I don't want to put you through that, that hassle though. I don't want to put your uh, wife through that hassle, my friend. Um, I guess we could though. That would be good. Probably somebody told me here, somebody confirmed this for me. Somebody told me uh, on the discord it was what was it what was it what was it they sent me a is this it hold on sorry sorry so sorry uh no not that somebody sent me the freaking uh the the date uh and the time for the actual presentation in the conference but i forgot where it was i gotta start marking stuff or else i'm not gonna know where anything is dang it uh yeah anyways yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, you know what, James Ayers, uh, Ayers, or however, I, I'm sorry for butchering your name. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Um, I would really appreciate that if you want. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Send me, send me your email. Send me, send me your email, and you can send me that in the Discord, or if you want it to be private. Of course, you don't want a thousand people knowing the email. Just uh, email me, and my email is in the description of every video. Thank you so much. Don't feel like you need to do that, James. Uh, thank you so much, though. Yeah, I would like to just get it straight from the horse's mouth to see when exactly they're presenting and how valuable the actual information is to see if we actually want to use the $160 we raised for this and the fintel.io if we want to use it for this actual presentation or if we just want me to YOLO in more B&J shares, right? Either one. I'm fine with either one. Um, Arc Fintech. Uh, okay, it just got updated. Holy crap. Holy crap. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Uh, Arc Fintech. Let me go to Arc Fintech. There's nothing. There's nothing. It's still May 26th. They didn't get updated. Let me check my email, see if they sent me something. They probably didn't. Although I subscribed for it. Nope. They still have nothing. Okay, great. Uh, no, you know, it's not, there's nothing. How, how are you guys seeing the update? I'm not, I'm refreshing it right now. There's nothing. I'm so confused. Let me check ArcX. Someone said the ArcX one, I think. He's a Frodo. When I hear Frodo or any Lord of the Rings, all my interest goes out the window. But yeah, there's nothing in here. Nothing for Arc G though. Nothing for Arc G. They said someone said there was there was Arc FinTech and Space Funds updated, but I just checked them and there's nothing. Is that because my Wi-Fi is horrible? It's true. Honestly, I sometimes I question how sometimes I really wonder how my stream doesn't break and disconnect like every five seconds because the Wi-Fi is so damn bad. It's gonna increase over time, but uh, yeah. You're getting a ragtag at live stream if you click on my I'll click on my streams, boys. Warning alert. Uh yeah, there is none. What the... Bro, did you seriously... So it's lies. Somebody just somebody just lied. Is that is that what it is? There's nothing here. There's nothing here. Arc F. Arc X. This is the fintech in the space one. There's nothing. MP. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, Levin. Nice, nice badge, by the way. Nice badge, by the way. You can't see the writing, but as you actually, as you remember for a long time, the badges continually get better. I know it looks weird, though. Break out that guitar and do a nano nozzle solo jam. <laughs> oh, man. I want to. One of these days, maybe I will. Maybe one of these days, maybe we will. Arcti new PDF says 527. 
Nope, no, 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 that's not what I want to do. There we go, refresh it. Come on, come on. Uh, no, nothing. I'm up to, yeah, I got nothing on my email. I got nothing. Guys, when there is, okay, I'm glad that I'm able to actually say this before it actually happens, if it does happen today. If we don't just literally stream for no, <laughs> this stream is just straight up for no reason and there's no update at all. Just please, when it actually comes out, send me the freaking link on the Discord if, I, if my Wi-Fi isn't working or if it's not working for me for some reason. Send me the link on the Discord or the email. And then tell me which one you sent me on, and then I'll and I'll look at it that, that way. Do you think ARC buying will actually be bad for us long-term? Target for shorts and ARC haters? No. No, no, no. I don't think so. The, the, here's the thing. Uh, there are ARC haters and shorts of ARC, but the bulls of ARC and the amount of validation in the esoteric technology of Sapphire and Bioengineomics that people would think that, oh, ARC likes the tech. It's good now. You know, a lot of people don't want to waste their time. Waste their time. It would be a great time. It would be a great decision to actually use the time to actually do a Sapphire Deep Dive like we already have in the document for you. This is linked in, actually, not. this is not linked in every description video, but it, it is linked. The, the video for this and the link to this document is in every single normal video, not stream, though. I need to, I need to fix that. But anyways, uh, what was I going on about? What was, I go what was your question? God. No, I think it would be better. I think if ARC did invest, I think it would be better long term because... People would trust their Sapphire research. They would trust the tech. And there's going to be more bulls of ARC than bears of ARC. More followers of ARC versus naysayers of ARC, if that makes sense. Nano nozzle riffs, I like it. <laughs> PDF on ARC G on their website is updated. Is it? Yeah, send your email link to PDF. Send your, send your email, send your link. Send the link on the Discord. Send me the link. I'm refreshing my email and I'm refreshing this and I'm not finding anything. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so I guess it didn't. I guess if this is legit, I guess there is none. Okay, Arc Genomic uh, multi sector ETF Arc Holdings as of 527. Here we go. This is what we've been waiting for all night, but I don't think Bionino is in here. Let me just control F Bionino because I know I'm not going to be able to find it. Nope. Nope. Nothing. Nothing, boys. Damn. Dang it, boys. That was all for nothing. Then. Hey, it was still worth it, though. Let's see what they're actually doing, though. Let's see if there's anything interesting in here. Uh, let's see what Pack Bio is. Uh, okay, so it's still number five. That's insane. This is literally bull. This this is what it should be, okay, guys? If you're just getting in the stream now and wondering where BNGO is, let's just go ahead and I, I just want to show you guys something. That's legit. Yeah. BNGO. Yeah. All right, that was a bad joke. But anyways, yeah, you, yeah, man, is yeah, they're not, they're not. Hey, we didn't expect this. We didn't expect this. Uh, for an arc is for for arc is set awful low in the water, but for the rest of us, it's still below this November twenty twenty price. Yeah, nothing. I guess. I guess nothing. Yeah, I guess arc would require a special price. So yeah, for everyone who's tuning in now, it's fine. If you guys want to leave right now, that's fine. I guess technically, yeah, it's nothing. It's nothing, man. I mean, why am I even refreshing this? this? Is the PDF? But yeah, uh, Arc is not Arc is not invested in BioNano. Um, Pack Bio is still their fifth largest holding, which is a shame. But uh, it looks like that's what they're dealing with. And uh, yeah, we didn't think there was a high chance. It looks like they didn't, but it was worth a stream. It was worth the chance, man. It would be so good if they did, would it not? It would be so good if it was. There has to be a reason why Arc has isn't interested. Arc is Arc is not all knowing. Okay, Arc is not all knowing, and just because they're not invested, we don't need them anyway at all. We do, it literally all that it means that Arc is not invested to me. It just means that there's more time for us to load up because Arc is going to invest. No, there's no doubt Arc will invest. Uh, every institution in America will invest in BioNano, basically, or at least the most ever. Most institutions will invest in BioNano eventually. They will. Okay, when you have a company go from innovation and potential, which is what we are now, to safety and growth, which is going to happen based on the Simply Wall Street sixty percent year of year revenue growth for the next five years. It's gonna happen. It's it's it just it's inevitable, uh, for me. It's inevitable. I think that's what I think is gonna happen. Arc is interested. They're rocking the papers as best they can. Yeah, the, this one is still not updated, but the but the PDF here. Yeah, it looks like they didn't. It looks like they did not uh, invest. Looks like they have no Bionino uh, uh, holdings today. It looks like this stream has been for nothing, but it's still been fun. We still talked a lot about about a lot, a lot, a lot of cool stuff. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> it was a letdown though. Let's be honest. Uh, but yeah, we didn't expect this though, and I try to do my best as to not getting your guys' hopes up too much. I know the title was a little bit much, but I've said like three or four times now in the stream, it's not. I didn't. I, I've said that I did not expect them to actually invest. I said it was a little likely, so. But it's, it was still it was still worth covering just for the possibility. I think so. Anyways, yeah, we'll get out of here. Last minute questions, and then we're gonna end the stream here. Last minute questions, great questions. Last minute. Thank you so much, Mister L. Thank you so much. 
Uh, ARC will invest when revenue goes up. Get in before ARC. I agree. I think that's what's going to happen. So this means ARC didn't buy at the 4.3 bottom. No, if they would have bought in, then we would have known for a while. I, I'm guessing. Did he go to school with uh, someone with Bio Nano? Someone? Did he go to school with someone at Bio Nano? Uh, if you're asking about Simon, are you gonna shave or? <laughs> no, I'm not. Sh I'm keeping the crappy beard. If you can call this a beard, you can't even see the beard because my phone's camera is so bad. But anyways, yeah, no, I'm not shaving until BNJO hits ten dollars. Not shaving until BNJO hits ten dollars, and I can't even grow a beard, so it's not like I'm really missing. I'm not. It's not like I'm really doing anything, like missing out. Uh, it's not like, I don't know, but yeah, I can't even grow a bit. My mustache literally, it does not, no mustache yet. It's like, okay, we're going to grow here. Been trying to grow a beard for years. My dad pretty much never could. He can now kind of, but I, yeah, it looks like I might not have never, never be able to. How many hours do you sleep a night? Not very much recently. I used to sleep like 10 hours every night, uh, before YouTube. <laughs> it's like, nope. Anyways, no shaving until BNJO hits 10. Yep. That's right. Boops. I love the all caps. I love the enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> no shaving until BHO is 10. Hey, you have my word. You have my word, man. Check that PDF before market open tomorrow. What, why? Are you implying that it might change? You're getting me excited. Why Why would you say that? Why would you say that? Technical analysis for tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I didn't even do a technical analysis for tomorrow. I didn't even do a technical analysis. That's how much news. We had so many crazy news pieces today. I didn't even have time to do a technical I don't think I can get one out uh, late. I don't think I can get one out but before I go to sleep, man. And I and there's other crap I got to do as well tonight. So I don't know. <laughs> I love the clip. They do it more. Do it more and more. Lord of the Rings and Star Wars will attract more viewers. <laughs> oh, man. Is body hair okay? <laughs> oh, you guys are too funny. We have the funniest damn community ever. I swear to God, we do. I thought it was dirt on your chin. It basically is. I mean, it. there's nothing there. I mean, let's be honest. It's just whiskers. It's just whiskers. It's not a real beard. It's not a real beard. All right, we're getting out of here. Don't worry. I don't think we will notice if you go without shaving. Yeah, that's honestly true. <laughs> See, that's the thing that I said. Yeah, Brandon, I would join in with you. Yeah, that's the movement, boys. No shaving and no selling until Bio Nano hits 10. No selling and no shaving. You on meme Discord now, Brandon. Wait, I am I a meme? Wait, wait, what? <laughs> Oh my god, that makes my day. My life is totally complete. That is the look at my face. <laughs> look at my face. Oh my god, look at that freaking eye. Look at that freaking eye right here that's not even open. Oh man. Oh, that is too funny. <laughs> Somebody please post this to Reddit and Wall Street Bets. That's amazing. That is that is the best thing I have ever seen. <laughs> oh my god, let me reply to this. Best meme of all time after fellowship of the sapphire yep <laughs> that's so good you look guilty <laughs> i do you can see in my face that i know it's like a horrible joke and it's just yeah it's as corny as that like usual but yeah yep <laughs> that's awesome that's awesome you're a legend whoever made this you are this man is a legend right let me give him some more love let me give him a thumbs up this is awesome that's the best meme I've seen in a while. We do a little trolling. I just snapped my Discord up so fast. Oh, that Ark finally invested in the This is legit. Oh my god, I love. It. We have the best community on YouTube, man. That sounds a little arrogant, but it's not because of me. It's because of you guys. It's too, you guys are too damn funny, man. We have like thousand comedians here, literally. Play the final Fellowship of the Sapphire on the way out. Should we? I want to. Should we? Do y'all want to see the Fellowship of the Sapphire again? I love it. I think it's awesome. You want me to play? I will. But only I need more than two people that actually say yes, because most people probably don't give a, give a crap about Lord of the Rings. <laughs> For weeks, I thought it was a shadow from the bad light. Yeah. <laughs> it's basically not even there. I mean, you can barely even see it. You can barely even see it, man. But I'm not shaving until $10. Strippers named Sapphire increased by 15% this week. Oh, man. The funniest thing is BNJO looks like it was written with a crayon and a shake. Yeah, I know. I know. It's like this is totally legit. And look at how crappy the freaking BNGO is. You can see my pointer. You can literally see my pointer right there, man. I love it. I love, it's too, That's the funniest thing of the day right there. That's amazing. That just made my week right there. That's amazing. Robbie Lowell. Oh, Robbie is back. What? What? Oh, my God. Robbie is back. What? I'm going to lose my shit. You guys really thought they'd invest? Oh, you have to be kidding me. Everybody, Robbie is back. Everybody, I want to introduce everybody to my great friend, Robbie. This is the man that owes me $1,000. Uh, there's, we actually have screenshots of that as well. Several people screenshot of that. He said if BioNano was not 
three dollars by May twenty first. He's gonna pay me a thousand dollars. I'm still waiting. I'm gonna throw that money. I'm gonna yolo that money in BNGO. I'm still waiting, Robbie. I'm still waiting. Stop by two dollars. It's going to two dollars now, huh? Last time Robbie said he took up a short position, it was all the way back here. And I'm not trying to disrespect Robbie. I'm just pointing out a fact. He was literally saying he was buying puts, and the shorts are put, and the shorts are the puts are printing. The shorts are doing great. The day before earnings, before 22% in the green, then we ended up pushing all the way up to right now 622. That's like what 30, 40% increase from where Robbie bought his put at in his short position. Wow. Congratulations for that, man. Congratulations, man. Pay up, give the money. <laughs> Sleep with your eyes open, Robbie. Oh, Robbie, everyone is going to try to find you. Robbie, you better not tell us your address or else there's going to be like 5,000 people trying to assassinate you, my friend. They're going to shoot you in the head. Just like what, that's exactly what you want to do the CEO, right? Shoot, shoot him in the head, get shot in the head, right? No one gets that reference, but for the people who do, I love you if you get that reference. Robbie equals Simon. Honestly, Simon pretty much is Robin's Robbie's embodiment right now. Shotgun face of you too. Shotgun face of you did not have to do that, my friend. You're a legend. Everyone do the opposite to what Robbie does, honestly. <laughs> Robbie leaves the chat. Oh my god. Pay pay Brandon the money, Robbie. If Robbie actually did, which Robbie, I'm not seriously, <laughs> Robbie, please don't actually pay me the money. But if he did, you know where we're throwing all that money. We are literally YOLOing in Bangio on whatever day that money comes in the account. We're YOLOing in. There's no there's no exception. I'm literally YOLOing those profits in. There's no way. There's no there's no alternative. There's no alternative. <laughs> oh man i love it i'm so glad we did this stream this has been the best even though arc didn't invest and it's been a big disappointment this has been a good one this has been a good one man <laughs> because robbie will never pay up he has awakened how how ironic is it that robbie comes in right after arc doesn't invest <laughs> why why didn't he come in when we're green today or yesterday, literally the precise moment that we get any sort of bearish news, right? He doesn't mind saying anything when we get 25k shares or or uh, or any of the catalyst, the three three and a half million shares we got added before at the close. He comes in specifically on our stream at the precise moment that it is not an investment by R. That is the funniest thing of all time i literally at this point i just straight up think robbie it was just trying to be funny honestly i don't even think he's serious he's just trying to be funny because that is so that is just perfect comedic timing right there <laughs> there's no way he's serious there's no way <laughs> robbie just get genetically sequenced and destroyed robbie is simon's middle team okay we got it in the stream we got it in the stream man Robbie, if you're out there, if you have any final words, if you have any last minute words before we we uh, we uh, I, before I give the order off with your head, before I give that order, uh, do you have any last words, my friends? Robbie Smith, this the stage is yours. What are you doing to do for school, Brandon? I am in jury. I'm a I'm in college right now, my friend. I'm at jury right now. I'm a major of political science and uh, minor is uh, right now. Right now it's right now it's business. Um, I, I might change it though. Right now, I'm I'm kind of switching between the major, between the minor. All right. All right. All right. We're getting out of here. We got to get out of here. Bear. <laughs> what kind of spelling is that? That's funny. <laughs> you spell bear like that. That's funny. I like that. All right. We're out of here. We're out of here, boys. We got to end it. Last minute things. I don't think there's, there can't be anything else that we need to cover. Okay. Thank you. So I need to get out of here. I need to stop taking your guys' night. Go get some sleep. Go get ready for the next, for tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a huge day. Please, last minute thing before we end, I have to say this, but this will be a quick spiel. Please, if you're investing in BioNano and you own shares or if you're considering investing, you need to know that we could see $5, $4 again. Inflation could be horrible tomorrow. We could literally get the start of a, a, a first real, the first real bear market that we've had since last year march uh last year 2020 because inflation and the government spending and other crap that the government has done combine this with a horrible inflation number that could be just what we want in the last the la the la the final straw to tip us into a bear market now is that likely i don't think so but if you're going to run the risk of holding being joe shares number one you better not come to me and complain to me because oh i held because of you brandon no no you make your own damn investment decision boys i'm holding long term because i think we're going to do great things long term and i can stomach the dips okay i hate stomaching the dips typically mostly because of the damn uh, robbies and, um, and the bears but uh but uh what do you call it but but please don't come back and whine to me if you're going to hold today. You need to make that decision for yourself. You need to do your due diligence, your risk assessment, and your goal assessment to determine that. All right, anyways, we're out of here. We're out of here, boys. Poli sci useless. <laughs> Just watch House of Cards. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, man. All right, we're out of here.
Thank you all so much, man. This is not financial advice. All right, we're out of here. Unless I see some other crazy uh, question here. All right, man. Make sure you guys. Hey, I'll go ahead and end this with the link to the uh, to the live stream tomorrow to the economic to the inflation the market open inflation is coming. I'll go ahead and end this. If you feel free to set your reminder uh, right now, right there. Okay, there you go. There's the link. If it's gonna work, let me try that again. Mouse without borders software screwing up. Let's see if it works now. Okay, there we go. All right, thank you all so much. Uh, I will see you later, man. Please join the Discord free link, free link in the description of any video. Uh, all right, man. Thank you all so much. I'll see you all in the next one.